Congratulations yes. on the new album, Broken Machines. It's Thank you. Really, really good. Yes. Curious, uh, you, you had a lot of praise on the first record. So did you feel any pressure going in to write this one? Uh, not so much, just because um, we didn't let ourselves kind of take our foot off the gas. We, we were writing f when the first record was finished. Um, but also we were touring for about three years as well. So we were doing both at the same time, which, which, was, you know, which, which was tough, but it worked out really beneficial for us. By the time we finished touring the first album, we had, what, 30, 40 ideas ready? 41 and a bit. <laughs> 41 Just and a bit. <laughs> yeah, so were you able to write on the road then? Yeah, uh, right on the bus. We yeah. had a little studio set up in the back. Then we'd yeah just come together at sound check and whatever we'd written on the bus would come and sound check, see how it sounded of the band, and then go back and change it so make it better. And then, right. Yeah. So does, do you find that being able to do that keeps things fresh? Because when you do your first record and then you have to tour on it for three years, and then you're tired of playing the same ten songs over and over again, but here you're working on new music in the meantime. Does that help keep you fresh during the first record cycle? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the problem with the first record in a way was that before it was even out before we started touring. We already had uh, two, three years that we were writing for that record before. So we'd had those songs for so long that it you know, um, kind of got boring. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so you had this big stockpile of songs going into the first record. Yeah. Did you use any of that stuff for the second record or is the no. second record like... Did no, he no? didn't use anything. No, no. I, think I think it was all fresh. Yeah, we wanted, it, we wanted it to be fresh. Um, and I think, as I say, just, just because we wrote on the road, we wanted this more like live feel to the songs and we, we were thinking about how they're going to translate live. Um, so, and we had, we had this sort of theme of Broken Machine as well, so we really wanted to fit everything around, around that. Right. Um, you work with uh, Mike uh, Crossy on this record. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done stuff with like Arctic Monkeys or whatnot. How did you guys land on him? Well, um, we had a few people in mind and Mike came to see us, we were playing the Conan O'Brien show and um, before we played he came down and just sort of hung out of us and we sort of got chatting and we had like, we were just fans of like a similar kind of music and we loved a lot of records that he did. And then when we started talking about how he makes music, it was very similar to us in, in terms of like, he doesn't like to repeat the same sort of technique and he likes to push his boundaries and he's just sort of, yeah, he has no idea what he's doing. Um, so we very much, uh, we had that as a common ground. So <laughs> then we went, um, we flew to LA in January. We would sent him all the demos and there was a few songs that he was absolutely in love with. Some that we weren't even particularly keen on, but because he was so obsessed with them and had, had sort of like a, a vision and a belief in them, he was like, we can really take this further. We then actually took those demos through and recorded them. So yeah, we were there for two months and then w what you hear is, yeah, the produce of that. So you did it in Los Angeles? We did, yeah, in but California, so I've learned. It's nice. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it sounds to me like there's some, some experimental go experimentation going on with the rhythms on this record. There's a couple of songs on there where there's some really interesting, I mean, they're, they, they, they square, they're round, I mean, like where there's a two and a four, but there's some interesting things like number 13 uh, yeah. as an example. Yeah, a lot example. of polyrhythms as well, yeah. well in the songs. Yeah, swing is we a cool love thing. Groove. We love groove. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, that just comes from our love of, of like kind of says groove, making people move and dance. But then we, we're we fans of, of of bands like Queens of the Stone Age that when they play like a riff or something, you can't help but sort of shake your hips. And we've noticed that with a few of our songs live, especially Amsterdam, is that you can't not bop your head or da dance to it. And um, yeah, we just wanted to really sort of see that through and make sure that we, when we were recording it, we executed that quite nicely. Yeah, yeah well, you nailed it. Uh, what was the first song you wrote for the new record then? First one was Get Better. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that was... Yeah, and that, 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 that and Design. Joey, we wrote time. Get Better, Design, and Sorry in really... I, and Broke Machine in really, really quick succession, like one after the other, like right. bang, bang, bang. And that was when we were like, okay, we've got, got an album here. Yeah, there was a sound yeah. sort of forming, yeah. and the songs weren't like miles away. Before that, we were still sort of finding our feet with where we were going with stuff, but then when we sort of knocked those ones out, we are like, okay, we're actually in like a certain sonic world, and we are like, okay, this is going to be the foundation for the album. Perfect.